it's just good. hey everybody welcome back to another episode of candy cleaning, cleaning conversations. conversations and today you know you guys we always have these very very special guests on the show today i actually finally got in touch <laughs> with the owner of zen made okay so i have him right here he's in the building Finally, after a long back and forth, we got him. <laughs> we got him. We did it to nasty. Okay, so welcome, Amar. I don't want to. I don't want to mispronounce your last name. How do you? Goosh? How do you spell it? Goosh? It it's it's Goosh. Pretty close, actually. Yeah, it's pronounced with an H at the end, but there's no there's no H there. So yeah, you're you're not 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 the first to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to the show. Now, we got a lot of things to uncover with you today because Absolutely. you are the owner of Zen Made. Um, but first of all, before we even talk about the wonderful app that you have for the cleaning community, tell us a little backstory about you. And yeah, just give us the backstory about who you are. Yeah, definitely. Well, first, let me just say thank you guys so much for um, for for having me. I was saying before we hit recording, um, how much of your guys' content that I'm seeing on Instagram on like on a daily basis, and I just I love what you're doing for the for the cleaning industry and just uh, making a lot of the stuff accessible. That I think it's taken us a lot of hard years and uh, hard lessons uh, lessons learned and everything. So it's great to see you guys passing down that knowledge. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm really really excited to I'm excited to be here. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm Amar Ghosh. I'm the um, CEO. CEO and co-founder of Zenmade. So we've been doing this for 11 years now. And so for those that aren't familiar with us, we do scheduling software for maid services. So I ran my own maid service uh, in 2012 for about, about a year, just over, um, over a year. I feel like I look pretty young now. Maybe I'm being a little bit generous to myself, but I mean, that was 12 <laughs> years ago and I was like 23 at the time. And I look quite young for a 23 year old at that time. And so after about a year, I think I got, a, I got a little bit annoyed with sort of, uh, you know, it being hard to get taken seriously by both the crews and by the actual clients. And I was like, I should hide behind a computer. And so, yeah, a friend of mine essentially, essentially approached me and was like, Hey, you guys have figured out the scheduling. You've built it into your website. I think that we can turn it into uh, into a software, and uh, yeah, I guess going back like you know further in, into my history or whatever, I, I grew up in Silicon Valley. I grew up in uh, in Palo Alto, actually, so right near Google, Facebook, all those. My uh, dad was an engineer at a lot of those like those companies, and uh, yeah, pretty much just did, did that. I was I was in uh, tech sales in a previous life, right before starting uh, before starting the maid service and starting ZenMade. So that's kind of how I got there. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. So you look, oh my God. So you're the tech guy. You were techie. You were always techie. You um you figured out all of the, the pain points about scheduling. Right. And that's what your software is based on. Is it mainly do you call it a CRM? Or so we don't we don't refer to it as a CRM. Some of our users will um, CRMs are much more designed for like for marketing, whereas we're very strictly a scheduling software. So all the automated communications and everything that we do, they're all transactional. They're all things that you don't need somebody to opt into. There's no opt out button because they're all about your appointment, like for for example. So there's some overlap. We have some features that help people with their marketing, but we're not a true a true CRM. We're generally recommend go high level to connect go high level and zen made for that oh, awesome. oh. so awesome. you can uh integrate the two you can you can connect the two using zapier where we're planning on building out something um a little bit more more robust and uh, and and native but at the moment we've got quite a few it's more technically savvy savvy folks that are connecting connecting the two but um yeah there's, there's some folks that are getting some very good results with those Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. One of the things that I do love about your software is, is it is user friendly. Very much. Okay. <laughs> because see, like I told you at the beginning, I'm not the tech person of the company. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> she can sit there and deal with complicated softwares. I can't. I don't have the patience. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Yeah. But when I got on Zen Man, I was like, you know what? This is she was a friendly. It's really self-explanatory here. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. something. 
Go ahead. It's, it's, it's something that we really pride ourselves on. And it's something that I'm always challenging, like challenging the team on that. I literally have a, a sticker, um, a, a sticky note on my board that says treat customers like they're your abuela. And that's something that I've got like the team, the team kind of like kind of thinking about because we very much cater within the industry to the non-technically savvy. The software is designed for my mom to use or for my grandmother, you know, to, to, to use. It's not meant for folks like me. It's a very interesting one that you know if i was running my own maid service i don't know that i would actually use zenmaid just because i'm technically savvy enough to make the most of some of the other systems that are out there that are way harder to use but are more powerful if you can get them actually like working so we focus very much on like powerful but simple and it always has to be simple I love it. I love that. That's like just talking to you because I, I, I you know what? I don't even know why I should call me tech savvy. Um, I, I, cause I, I'm a little bit tech savvy, but when it comes to you, like I can only imagine what it feels like being next to you, like for a day, you know, just yeah. going through everything that you break down because you could make mm -hmm. it more complex, but you keep it very yeah. simple. And I admire you for that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've been doing a little digging yeah. and you refer to the ball and the chain, um, you know, far as a business owner and their business. Could you elaborate for the audience and let them know how they don't have to be the ball and the chain to, you know, their company? Yeah. So I, I think really what that has to do with is I think just being intentional that I think that anyone that's listening to this uh, probably has a clear idea or memory from when they started the company and why they started the company, right? That usually they were looking for some sort of freedom or some sort of independence in their lives. And what I've tended to notice, because I mean, at this point, I think at last count, I'd spoken with something like 8,000 maid service owners in person over the past or like, you know, on the phone in the past like 11 years. And something that I realized is when you get three to maybe five years into the cleaning business, Business, you find a lot of people where the business isn't serving them, they're serving the business, and it's generally making them miserable, right? Yeah. And that's not something that you can just snap your fingers. Like, I'm not just saying like, oh, like you're miserable right now, just don't right. be. But if you set an intention of like, my life doesn't have to be like this, and I can run a cleaning business and win on my own terms, maybe it means that you're giving up that you could be making 100k a year and instead you're making 80 or 90k a year but is that trade off worth it if it means more time like with, with your with your children right I, I think what well, one of you has five five kids right i heard that on one of the other podcasts yeah so like if it means more time with 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 your children and so yeah i i just think i just think that a lot of people get into almost a negative sort of headspace because the business sort of beats them down and then there's that whole ball and chain analogy and it's something that um yeah i just wish more people knew that like it doesn't have to be that way right it's not an immediate fix but it can be fixed if you just set your mind to it love it I love it now so for the people that don't have any idea what we're talking about here with this <laughs> software because i know somebody's like okay so what what are you what is what it what do you do yeah so, um explain to them exactly like about the features and how mm -hmm. the software can benefit the cleaning community and is it just for made services or can people that specialize in commercial use the software as well yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, great, great question. So uh, it, to answer the, the, the last question first, so ZenMate is designed primarily for mate services, and we're beginning to expand into short term rental, so Airbnb cleanings. And then we do have quite a lot of users that will use it for both residential and for, for commercial. But if you're commercial first, I think there's better um, solutions that are out there. Um, Swept is like a good one that like that comes to mind. And there's some other ones that like as much as like we would love your business, I think that um, that you'd be better served with some of the other like competitors. But if you're 50-50, then I think there's a good chance that you would prefer ZenMate over some of the other ones. And if you're 100%, you know, residential, then you're going to absolutely love ZenMate. And so in a nutshell with ZenMate, there's one commonality that every cleaning company in the world has and it's not being good at cleaning because i think we all can think of competitors that are not good at cleaning right so what it actually is is if you want to stay in business you have to like manage your schedule right like you have to know where you have to be and when 
who's going to the appointments and what the details of that appointment are. And if you don't manage that properly, it's only a matter of time until all of your clients leave because you miss things because things aren't being communicated. And so we started with that basic concept back in 2013, and we've just tried to build more and more functionality around that. So what I mean by that is you have to manage your calendar somewhere. That can be pen and paper, or it can be Google Calendar. But if you do it in ZenMade, by setting up your appointments in ZenMade, you can now automatically have confirmation emails go out, reminder emails, or, or text messages, right? You can have mobile apps for your phones that connect all of your cleaners with all of the information. There's, you know, clocking in, clocking out, there's payroll, you know, we have a booking form. There's all these things that have sort of expanded off of this basic idea where you tell us your schedule and ZenMade will come in and try to do 80, 90% of the back office work so you guys can focus on what you do best, whether that's hiring, whether that's marketing, whether that's still cleaning, if you happen to be like in the field. Um, our goal is to just make it so that you don't need an in-house tech expert for every maid service in the country, right? Because it's just not needed. And honestly, they wouldn't be as good as like the amazing team that we have at ZenMade that like 100% of the time is just focused on better calendar and better scheduling for you. Right. Wow. Right. So I go out there and if I do like a walkthrough with the client, um, ZenMade has a form that the does it have like an estimation form or something like that for the client? So it, or? so it doesn't actually do do that. Um, and that's in large part because the way that people um, the way that people price is so drastically different. But then also, even by the time that we were building in 2013, a lot of people just don't do in home estimates anymore that it's hard to justify them. And so we found that that was almost a uh, like a dying sort of like sort of like approach, because most people just don't want to do that. If you call like as a consumer, if you call five cleaning companies, you don't want five cleaning companies companies to come in where you've got to manage to like coordinate with them to then answer all of their questions and all that you, like most people are willing to pay 10 or 20 percent more than you know the best price that they could get for the added convenience of just not having having to do that so we have a booking form that allows that allows clients to go to your website and mm -hmm. to book and then we have different ways that we can help you to sort of estimate the price but we don't have like a true estimation tool um, I think actually AJ who you guys were were, were talking to that was the uh, the the interview that I listened to before this I believe he has like an estimating tool I think it's more focused on commercial but there's a lot of ones out there that are really really good whereas for us really Zen made steps in and takes over once the client says yes that as soon as it's like, okay, I'm no longer a lead, I'm going to be an actual client of yours, that's when ZenMade steps in and starts starts to really do the heavy lifting. Awesome, okay. awesome. So as far as the cleaners on the back end, right? I mm -hmm. noticed a lot of our students, they're, yeah. they're like, man, is there a software out there where it shows maybe a picture of the cleaner that's coming or it gives the client information about who's going to be in their home does it do that yeah you can upload um you can upload the photos of your cleaners and then you can tell them who's actually coming and in terms of letting them know like what to expect um all of our communications are fully customizable so you can you can just change your templates one time if you know you want them to always clean up ahead of time or if you want to let them know more information about the assigned like the assigned uh, cleaners and we're actually I think next month we're, we've got a couple big releases coming up next month so one thing is checklists which uh, you know track who does what inside like inside the homes but the other thing that we're adding that's pretty big is we're revamping our entire invoicing system that's focused specifically on maximizing the amount of tips that your cleaners get so that you as the owners would without having to do any additional work, your mm -hmm. cleaners will feel like they're being paid more. And so with that, part of that is when they're asked, hey, like, how is your service? Do you want to leave a tip? It'll show on the left side, here are the cleaning technicians that cleaned your home. And then if you've uploaded those photos, then it'll show the photos. And we've seen that that actually increases people's likelihood to tip and even the amount that they will tip. Wow. wow. So the cleaners can actually upload photos to ZenMade. 
Uh, yeah, cleaners can do that for the for the notes. Uh, only the owners can uh, can upload photos of the cleaners for like the profiles because we Whoa. definitely allowed cleaners to do that. And like within like two days, you had people putting stuff up that was like more like a Snapchat profile photo with like cash and like you know illicit substances in the background. And we were like, <laughs> okay, no, 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 like only the owners and office managers get to do this. Like we we're not going to trust the cleaners with this. <laughs> right. Oh, that's right. amazing. That's, that's pretty cool. We, well, for our company, we usually use, um, I know you've probably heard of Slack. Um, mm -hmm. And use that as like, like the communication. And then we have our cleaners just upload the pictures to Slack. Right. But yep. I had no idea that you could do that on ZenMate as well. That's, that's pretty cool. This is that's all in one, good. everything. And while we're on the subject, um, I know I heard you in the interview before you were talking about um, the Uber for the cleaners, like far as you being able to know where your cleaner is and when they're going to arrive to you. Is this something that has taken into an effect? So we've added like on the way SMS where it makes it really easy for the cleaners when they have completed one job, it'll ask them, you know, do you want to notify the next client that you're on the way? And with one click, it'll send it over. It's not quite to the level that I've envisioned it yet that like I have almost like a, a sim style map in my head that yeah, just shows right. you where all of your crews are and who's making you money and turns it into almost a little video game where in the top right there's just a cash bag and it tells you how much money like your business has earned so that's something that like my my, my dev team is like all right amar we get it we've got the vision too but we're not there yet but it, it, it's coming but one one step at a time awesome awesome okay okay what what does it look like for the back end of the software company that you run like how many how many people does it take to, to run really it? run this thing like, yeah. What is so the back office looking like? We have about about 30 people that contribute to the software on a regular basis or contribute to the company on like on a regular basis. So we actually just did a team retreat with 22 team members. That was uh, in the Netherlands. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was only maybe four or five weeks ago that that we did that. And so, you know, I think it's like any organization that's delivering kind of like a product, a product like ours. I mean, honestly, it completely blows my mind how many people when I stood up in front of everyone for that retreat, I, I was just thinking to myself, like, this is so cool. But how do we have this many people, you know, bought into this vision and working towards this mission? Because, you know, it was just me and my co founder for the first three, like four years, it was about four years in that it finally felt like we were beginning to have a bit of a team. And so yeah, it's, it's kind, of, kind of a weird, weird, weird feeling, but a great one. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. I know a lot of people come to us and they're questioning about whether they should um, bring on a partner, add someone to their business, and they are dealing with the trust factor. So I know in the beginning you did have a partner, but then things took a turn for the difference and then you got another partner. So yeah. how, do you, how did you deal with that? Like, how do you recognize who's the right partner for you that you should partner with? Yeah, definitely. Well, one thing, just, just to caveat like this answer a little bit, is I think that thinking about partnerships is going to be very different in my position running a software company versus like a cleaning company. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like I think if you've got a, a running working cleaning company, chances are you can pay somebody to help solve your problems and you don't need a partner with anyone or on the technical side for me. So despite being known as the tech guy in the industry, I'm actually not technical. So like I don't do any of the coding. I'm the sales and marketing and, you know, like the true kind of like CEO like role at, at this point. But I have had two co-founders now, like two, two CTOs that have worked with me over the um, over the years. And mm -hmm. I, I think what, what you said of that, a lot of it, or like, or like people are concerned on the trust thing. I think yeah. that's probably the number, the number one thing is it's a given that they need to have the skills that you're looking for. And especially if you're a cleaning owner and you're thinking about these things, you want to make sure that they have complementary skills to you. You don't want to have the exact same skill set, right? You don't need, you know, two people that are leading in that sort of way. You want one person that's maybe more systems thinking and the other, the other person that's more of a people person, just as like, as an example. You want to have like that sort of sort of um, sort of split. I think that really, though, it does come down a lot to trust and communication 
and clear thinking. And one of the best things that I've heard, so if, so if anyone out there listening right now is thinking about like bringing on a partner, I heard on a podcast recently about actually doing this with like a potential romantic partner as in like before getting married. And that's talking about what you actually want both in life and out of the business and what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. And I think that a lot of not even bad partnerships would be avoided, but a lot of problems in partnerships would be avoided if you started with that and just made it clear of, you know, I have five kids. I'm not willing to work 80 hours a week, right? right. Like just like period, like I, I cannot handle that in my schedule. So we need to win working on 40 hours a week, like or, or less, right? <laughs> because to me, working 50 hours a week, that's no longer the definition of winning. I don't care how much money we're making at 50 mm -hmm. hours a week, this chalks up to a loss on my board, right? right? And so having that sort of clarity is something a lot of business partners don't have when they go in and it causes all sorts of problems because that just isn't, isn't well-defined. Yeah, I love that's that true. I always tell people that it's always exciting in the beginning when you yeah. found this wonderful partner and it's like, yeah, we're going to make this money. We're going <laughs> to do it. I, I always tell my students to like, think about all the bad stuff that could happen first. And mm -hmm. you guys just lay that down. Like what would yeah. happen if yes. <laughs> this happened? Talk about all the bad stuff first and then come back to the table. <laughs> right. Okay. I love it. I love it. Well, another thing, um, I, I love the fact about Zenme where you're able to just three simple steps. I know you have said it before, just the booking, the scheduling and getting paid. Yeah. It's just like you don't have to be so complex. And I love the way that you put everything. But how did you get so narrow down because you know us as business owners we're trying to create so many things because we want the experience to be great you know for yep. our clients but how can how did you do that how did you simplify it just to three simple steps so i think that we started out with a very very simple idea and a very simple product and because in the beginning our initial release in 2013 was essentially just a it almost looked like Google Calendar and just added on the SMS and email reminders that were set up specifically for like for cleaning companies. And so I think it was very much built into our DNA that uh, and, and honestly, I mean, I, I think that a lot of these things have come. They've developed organically over time. I'd be lying if I said that I went into this thinking like, OK, we're going to keep it to three simple steps and, and all that. It's really more that we launched with what we knew. We launched with what we um, were confident confident would help the market. And then the reason, you know, that I'm talking to you guys 11 years later is because it's not a one-time solve, that it's something that even now we're constantly getting feedback. I mean, we're getting more feedback than ever 11 years in, and we're developing all sorts of things that some things I've been aware of for 11 years that, you know, we needed to add at some point. And then we mm -hmm. have things like we just added in a safety button so that if one of your cleaners is ever feeling unsafe in a client's home, there's essentially like a one click button that sends out an SOS to all other team members or to your office staff in case someone's nearby and can come. And that was just because of a horror story that we heard from one of the clients. And so, um, yeah, I mean, really, it's an ongoing thing. Our development is entirely customer led. It's entirely listening to customers, them telling us our needs. And then I think that being able to communicate about complex ideas in a simple way, I think is something that's very, very powerful. And so that three step like simplicity that we have, it just makes it so much easier to, di to digest what Zenmade can bring to any cleaning business owner. Um, and so, you know, behind the scenes, it's a lot more complicated than just the, those, those three steps, but ultimately yeah, yeah, yeah. it boils down. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now. Right. You know, you know, I know. Really? But, um, so do you actually think that it's easier to, to scale a maid service than the commercial world? Yeah. Do you think it's easier? So 
I think that it's it's a lot it, it's easier to make a lot more money with commercial cleaning that it's very very rare that I see a truly residential maid service that's doing more than one maybe one and a half or two million dollars a year there are definitely some that are out there but they're more the exception than the rule the vast majority of companies at some point between 500,000 and a million start taking on more commercial clients because they will will have like longer contracts and just pay pay more money in large part because you're oftentimes getting 20 appointments from a single client in in like a month so I don't know. I, I feel like it's one of those that it, it's probably, um, I'm not sure which one's necessarily like easier to scale, but I do know that going to a higher amount is easier at the commercial side. But also I think that if you're new to the cleaning industry and you're listening to this, you're probably more comfortable with one or the other. And in that sense, that's the one that you should probably pick, not necessarily the one that's more lucrative if you're trying to get your foot in the door into right. the into the industry right now. But um, yeah, I mean, definitely more money to be made in commercial. Yes, okay. they always see you guys got the answer because people right. ask me that all the time. So I just wanted you to answer it because I'm tired <laughs> of it. Right? right. And um, I always tell people that it's it's pros and cons with both you guys. Like, yes. you know, it, and, it, and just like you said, it, it boils down to the person that's running yep. the business. You know, Miss mm -hmm. Johnson may be able to tolerate both. You probably can't, though. You know, if it, you run into some people that are just like, listen, I need my money today. Right. <laughs> I right. want them to book online. I don't have time to chase clients. If anybody exactly. wants to survive in the cleaning industry, you see our horror stories all the time. Mm -hmm. We're completely transparent with our journey. We chase money. We have people do chargebacks. But you, you yeah. can get in both industries. Both. Yeah, ones. exactly. Yeah good thing yeah. what what do you what do you um do about because you know zen made like the back of your hand you know exactly what it does um how do you deal with customers trying to say well it's not what it does and they try to deal with the chargebacks like how do you deal with that yeah do you deal with chargebacks uh, so we we integrate with um, with Stripe, Square, and Authorize. So those are all the credit card processors that would that would handle that. So if there were chargebacks, it would go through through those like th those platforms. Um, what we recommend though, and where we try to help people out, is we're trying to encourage everyone to take photos and to and to like use Zenmade to take photos and to upload all the photos because it makes it a lot easier when there's a chargeback to go to Stripe and to be like, hey, here are our appointment notes complete with before and after photos, right? right? Like it's real hard for someone to deny that when you have that sort of that sort of evidence. Um, and so, yeah, we, we try to have stuff like that that makes it easier in terms of documentation so you can go and win those those chargebacks. But that, that's really the, the, the extent of it. OK, okay. so okay. let's say um, somebody wants to join ZenMade today, OK? <laughs> And they're completely confused when they get on the software because they're just not a techie person. Yeah. How is your support team? Like, do you have anyone that can say, hey, you know, we can help you out with that booking form. Mm -hmm. We can, yep. you know, do all the techie stuff for you and maybe a little fee. But how does that work? Right. Do you have anyone that can help our people out? Yeah, definitely. And then that's that's part of kind of the core um, the, the core target that we're serving is that we expect people to be coming in. And I mean, a lot of people come in and will jump on the phone with us and will apologize and be sorry, I'm not very, you know, technically savvy or whatever. And to us in our heads, we're like, oh, like you're perfect right? Like you're who, who we're trying to help. Right. And so, um, yes, we have, um, we, we have a, you know, great, great support team, um, led by Lara who, uh, has like some experience working with maid services and in maid services. Uh, and so we have quite a few team members that are former maid service owners or former, uh, maid service, uh, op, um, office managers. So we have like very, very expert, like support and everything. Uh, any new member can sign up for calls with our team that's free of charge and then we can even upload your uh, your clients your employees and uh, even even your schedule only the schedule costs anything everything else is completely uh, completely like free that if you're using another software you can just change your password share your login information with the Zenmade team and we'll we'll go in and just move everything over um, it's, it's rarely a hundred percent but our goal is to remove 80 to 90 percent of just the stress and headache of like changing systems because 
because we all know how much of a headache it can be to change scheduling systems. And so, yeah, we've tried to make that as easy as possible. And uh, yeah, our our uh, our opinion or like our perspective on the matter is like, hey, you know, we're the tech experts, not you. That you know, you're the cleaning business experts, and so you shouldn't be spending time reformatting a spreadsheet and taking right. an hour to do that when like I've got someone who's done hundreds of them that will literally take three to five minutes, might have a couple of questions for you, and then can have the entire problem solved in, in less than an hour without all the frustration and headache. So we try to go above and beyond. I love, I it. love it. We oh definitely need that in this industry. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for, for, for creating that, that uh, yeah. hands-on support team. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hear that? Hands-on support team, you guys. All right. So the next question I have is some people have employees, some people have contractors, right? Mm -hmm. And they may pay them differently, right? Yeah. So um, let's say this person wants to pay hourly. This person pays flat rate. How mm -hmm. does Inmate help the business owner out with that? Yeah. So you, you just said two of the main ones, right, is flat rate and um, and, and hourly and then um, like a percentage or like a revenue share uh, kind of one is probably those are probably the big three ways that people are are paid in the industry. And so what Zenmade is set up for is that you can set up your payment system on a per cleaner basis. So if you happen to be working with both contractors and employees with a different pay setup, then you can have it set by employee. Most people are all are or by, by cleaner, I mean, just because not everyone's an employee, but most companies have either employees or they have contractors. So all cleaners in the system are paid the same way, but we we have ways to um, to, to deal with with all, all three of those. So, um, you know, we always think that it could be better. You know, I can think of a, of a couple like, you know, issues with it and improvements that I'd like to make there, but on, on the whole, it's, it's quite solid and really like helps people a lot, especially if you're using the, uh, the mobile apps and having your team members clock in and out, then that's where the system really begins to get uh, to get powerful between different devices. Awesome. Okay. Does it do a, a split? So like when the client pays, like, does it do a split or that's it? Or is that something that you have to do on the back end? Uh, it should do a split if you have multiple people with the revenue. I'd actually have to have to check on that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyone, anyone listening in case, in case you go to our support team and go, Mar said it did this. I, I, I questioned myself after. <laughs> we to get it to do it. All, yeah. all, the, all the pain points. We yeah. try to get it to do everything. Okay. So another, another thing that I wanted to ask you, cause I wasn't sure if it did this, but payroll so it's time to to pay your people out um for the week or bi-weekly does it calculate how much you owe the cleaner so that you can just pay them out so yes and no it will help you to calculate everything um, that the cleaner is owed, but it does not take into account any taxes or local jurisdiction or anything like that, that because Zenmade is not limited to the U.S. And even if it was limited to the U.S., the state laws vary like very massively. Um, so yeah. it can help you to figure out sort of like before deductions, this is how much like you owe. And that makes it easy for you to take that information and to then go to a true payroll solution to go to QuickBooks Online or mm -hmm. or. Or, uh, paychecks or ADP, any of those to give them that info. And then they can take it from there, distribute payments and all that. So some people will use Zenmade um, like 100%, but especially as you get bigger, you usually need a true payroll uh, payroll solution. Good, good, so good. it integrates with QuickBooks, correct? Via via Zapier, it's that that's another one similar to Go High Level that I'd like personally, I'd like to see that be a little bit more, more robust, but you can connect them, yeah. Good, awesome. good. Yeah. Um, cool. My question is about templates, because I know you have templates inside of ZenMade. Yes. Is, are there workflows that are that could be set up inside of um, ZenMade? So like the process of when the, when you go on the walkthrough and the service agreement is sent out and then you get yep. a notification, like, are you able to do that inside of ZenMade as well? Yeah, you are. It's not quite a workflow because, or, or rather, or, yeah, a better way to put it is we have built out the workflow 
with a variety of things because all of the because all of the appointments are very similar they follow all very similar timelines and then every one of our users can opt into as many of those six or seven steps in the workflow like as they want um then again like with our type of types of of, of, of users people generally aren't going to go in and figure out a workflow and set all of that up that even the folks that are using you know go high level and other crms they tend to have technical help that are actually implementing and so so yeah, for us, it would be like, okay, cool. So when you create an appointment, do you want an immediate confirmation to go to your client just to make sure that you've written down everything, all the notes are correct, there's no inaccuracies, typos, etc. Do you want that to happen? Yes or no? Great. You click yes, then that'll go out automatically. Do you want a reminder to go out the day before? Yes or no? And then the follow-up message. And so you can edit all of those individual templates and then choose as many of them as you want to um, to, to use. And so, yeah, it's to, to each their own. I awesome. love that. Awesome. That was my whole point because it's so <laughs> simple. Like, it's not complex. Like, a lot yeah. of people might feel they need all this stuff and and nothing against it you can use yep. all of that stuff but i love the way zenmate has simplified the whole process yes. it's like like you said a fifth grader can do it mm -hmm. and i i love the fact that abuela you said just mm -hmm. i yep. want to design this for my abuela to, so that way their experience is good and they don't have to worry about well baby can you do this for me because i don't know how to do it <laughs> you know i love it and i also love the fact that you're always there for people. I love the community, you know, that you have. Everybody is a part. It's not like you have one person that's doing something and somebody else is doing something else. It's together and it flows. And I yeah. love that. Yes. I love that. How many main owners do you have on the software now? Do you, do you have that? So we're clo we're closing in on three thousand. We're we're clo closing in on 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 three thousand, and that includes our free users. So for those of you guys listening who weren't aware of that, if you have two two cleaners or less, so the owner plus two cleaners, uh, mm -hmm. we do offer a free version, and that's free forever, and that's just designed to be better than Google Calendar. So if you're listening to this and you're quite small and you're using pen and paper or Google Calendar, you can come in and get a true like contact management uh, solution. Completely Completely for free, and then at some point, if you um, you know if you are successful enough, and um, you know do want to grow, if that's part of you know where you want your business to be, um, then you know we're happy to uh, to help you and offer quite a few more uh, more features. Well, how much? Let's talk about that. Let's talk more about that. <laughs> Look, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> so, um, how much is it made for yeah. the bigger cleaning company? So Zenmade, the pricing is really simple. It's just $49 a month plus $9 per cleaner or office manager. So if you have five cleaners, then you're paying around $100 a month. If you have, what is it, 15 cleaners, then you're closing in on 200. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, like it's, it's very, very simple, um, simple pricing. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very straightforward. That was the simplest way that we were able to sort of align how we sort of help you to succeed. And um, yeah, like our goal was just that, you know, as as you succeed more and more, you know, you'll, you'll be charged a little bit more, but it's because we're helping you to manage more and more within within the business. And then also it's just simple, you know, um, that I think that we've got some competitors where you look at their pricing page and you just have no idea what you're ultimately going to pay. And so we try to be very transparent with that okay i love that so the price raises um it just depends on how many people you have um mm -hmm. <clears throat> because i know with some softwares you may um have to pay higher to get different features but on mm -hmm. yours you get all the features all the things right and yeah. you just pay as as you grow so you are making money uh as the company grows. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's correct. And then we, I mean, we, we may introduce some like feature limitations in, in the future, but those are going to be specifically ones that like the smaller guys don't need and won't miss, right? That we don't want to be nickel and diming people and it being like, oh, like, you know, you want this basic feature, you know, it's going to gonna cost like X, Y, Z, like more. Um, so yeah, but, but, but yeah, we, again, we're just trying to, trying to keep it simple, trying to keep it like logical and everything. And, uh, you know, just, just just keep it transparent gotcha awesome, awesome. so what differentiates you from the competition the other scheduling softwares out here we got 
um, Booking Koala, we got Jobber, Jobber um, yeah. a few others. Like, what differentiates you from the competition? What makes ZenMate so special? Yeah, definitely. So I think that, um, yeah, I, th I think we, we've got a nice sort of like position here, like in the in, in the market and everything, right? So, um, you know, if you if you look at it, the strength of ZenMate is really in the management, but also in the simplicity that like, if we're being completely honest here, us, um, you know, like ZenMade, Booking Koala, Jobber, all those guys, the features are very, very similar, right? That we all have our own versions of booking forms. We all send reminders. We all offer invoicing, right? The feature for feature, it's almost the same, right. except for the fact that when you're in ZenMade, I mean, out of those three, it's the only one that's specifically for cleaning companies. And that gives us a big advantage, in my opinion, that I think that when you're inside the software, that's one of the reasons that ZenMade feels so simple because it's just designed for you. Right. Like Booking Koala and Jobber, both great software. Right. I have a ton of respect for the founders there and for the teams there. And they're doing some amazing stuff. And both are, are, are raising, raising the standards like of, of the industry. Right. So only good things to say about them. Uh, however, they're focused not just on cleaning companies. They're also trying to help electricians and plumbers and lawn care folks. And so sometimes it's even just the terminology in there or you go into the settings and the settings is such a mess because it's asking you for all these different things and for good reason, right? Like like for them, it makes total sense. But for a cleaning business owner, it's like, why am I looking at this? Like, why do I have all of these options? And so like my kind of thing is, you know, first of all, we're considerably like more affordable than all of like the competition that you could argue is more powerful, um, that were, you know, we're, we're simpler, we're easy to, easier to use. And then the other thing is that even if you thought that Jobber or Booking Koala was better software than ZenMade, is it better for you if you're not able to make use of it? And that's really the power and simplicity is that every user on ZenMade will get close to 100% of the power from ZenMade. And with most of our competition, you know, it's credit to them for how powerful their software is. But at the same time, most people can't even begin to scratch the surface because it's just too technical. And so that that's kind of like the niche that, 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 that we've sort of found. And then also, I think that like you guys said, I think that people can really just tell just how much we care, you know, yeah. and like how long we've been in the industry. You know, we run the Maid Summit, you know, the, the virtual conference for Maid Services that we've done. I think this will be our fifth or our sixth year doing it. You know, we have our Facebook group with 10,000 people. Like, you know, we've been in the industry for a long time. We're putting up great content and so a lot of it is just showing up every day and showing up specifically for this niche and just being like you're all that matters to us right we're not looking at you know going off and trying to make more money by going into painting and going into all these other things it's just you guys right and i and i think that that as time goes on the differences get more and more stark i i love that because so many people they're all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because they get it misconstrued on the internet. Like you have to do all these things to become <clears throat> successful. But if you just take one thing and become successful at that one thing, it's yeah. like you can grow it and grow it and grow it over the mm -hmm. years. And if you want to add on something, that's you. But I love the way that you have perfected ZenMade. And I cannot stress it enough how wonderful ZenMade is. But I do, let me tell you something. I do have one thing I heard you say yeah. on an interview and I said, as soon as we get on this interview, I was going to talk to you about it. So uh, here we, we go. Can we have a person <laughs> here? Can we have yeah, a let's do it. All right. So I heard you say on an interview, like with a press of a button that you can get like a hundred K um, if you wanted it. Like, so can you, can you care to share and elaborate? <laughs> like, hey, what? just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's uh, I, uh, I, I have, I have an email from uh, from from Stripe from uh, what like four days ago or something that 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 just says like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is on on its way to your like to your bank account or whatever. So essentially for for us what what it is is we've worked with Stripe for a long time and so Stripe pre approves people for loans and so so would be like Stripe is where all of our revenue goes through and so Stripe can see how much money we're making on a monthly basis and so yeah they just they've pre approved us for things and it's it's quite it's quite surreal but it's funny that you guys bring bring that up because it used to be a hundred K and now it's like two hundred and fifty and when when times were good during the pandemic 
pandemic, they'd offered us like 800K at some point, which just doesn't seem very responsible. To be completely no. honest, I'm just like, this seems no. too easy, you know? I mean, we do have to pay it back. Like for the record, like it's not like free money or anything, right? It's like, right. we're gonna pay it back. But still, it's it's like, it's it's pretty nice to just be able to do that. Cause yeah, when we, when we took money like this week, which we don't do very often, um, I think I just tend to be a little bit more fiscally conservative. And I just looked at that and was like, you know what? If we take, you know, a quarter million right now, that just kind of makes things just kind of smooth for at least at least a year that we just don't really have to worry about too much so we can just focus on doing what we do and like we're probably not going to spend most of that money we're probably going to end up paying 10 percent interest on it and not ever need it but to me it's just peace of mind it allows me to sleep better at night and i think that's what we were talking about at the very beginning with like the whole ball and chain thing is that right. like you know i've run this business for 11 years i started it because i wanted you know time time independence and location independence and all these things i don't want to be stressed out about money at the at the end of the day and you know if i can pay a little bit of money in interest you know in 12 months time to you know to sleep well at night to me that that's well worth the trade i love it so if somebody was trying to maybe start their own app or if they had some ideas like i don't even know how you got started on the aspects of creating you know zen made but how would they do that so honestly, times have changed a lot. So for me, when I started 11 years ago, it was a friend of mine who was quite technical and could build software who approached me and essentially said, hey, you know, I've seen what you guys are doing. I think I can turn this into a software and I'm very confident that you can go out and sell and market it. And that was kind of how we got started. Uh, I do think that you'd probably want to find someone like that again now, but with all of the AI technology and no code tools and all of that, I think that it would be much easier to create an early prototype and to, you know, show your friends to get some actual validation in the market. For us, it was seven or eight months of development that now I would say you could probably get done in, you know, like four to eight weeks if you were clear on on what you wanted and had someone talented that was working um, working along alongside you but i mean to, to more directly answer your que your question if you're non-technical and you have an idea for something like that the the main thing to think about is validation that if you can find a way to approach technical people to potentially build a solution for you and you can show them like hey i have uh, I have a hundred people on a wait list that I can show you the email that they have explicitly said that they are interested in paying for a solution that does X, Y, Z. Here's what I have in mind. Can you build it? That's something that'll go a really, really long way because you have to remember that especially like talented technical people that can build things themselves. If anyone knows that they're going to be getting approached by idea guys all the time and having yeah. an idea is cheap, but execution is not right. It's all in the execution. And so from a technical perspective, if you were to approach someone technical and be like, Hey, I have an idea for an app, but not only do I have an idea for an app, a hundred people have told me they're interested. That demonstrates that the tech person isn't going to be wasting their time that you already know how to go out and get people's attention because the whole thing is you know if someone's listening to this and going oh Amar, like how am i going to go and, and find a hundred people to you know to get to agree to this well right. the answer to that is well if you can't do it now then how do you expect to do it when you actually have a product right 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 and right. so it, and so it, yeah it's really just thinking how can i de-risk this for the technical person because especially early on in the company for the first couple of years the technical person is the one that's taking the massive risk not the other person right mm -hmm. and so I, I think it's just good to um to think about it like that way because i think too many people think that their their idea is everything and uh you, you know it just <laughs> right. the, the idea is important but it, it takes a lot more than that like the idea is you know three to five percent of the work and like it's three to five percent of the work that you have to do but you know it's tip of the iceberg <laughs> oh man i listen you need to do an internship or something so somebody can come <laughs> and like spend the day with you or something like maybe put that into work but where's lola <laughs> Lola? Lola is with a uh, is with, with with one of the uh, the dog um, the dog sitters right now. I don't I don't have her tonight. I didn't want her barking in the background. Actually, that was part oh, of the reason I had her, I I had her off. Like, where's, where's Lola? You yeah. know, it's, it's funny that you um, you mentioned AI. I was going to ask you, 
do you plan in the future to like implement anything involving AI? Because AI is, I, I mean, I took, I took a class um, a couple of weeks ago and this lady was talking about some new things that are coming up and I was just completely yeah. blown away. I'm like, yeah. this is crazy. You can literally click a button. It'll create a website for you. Uh -huh. It will create emails for you. You can literally do, I know you heard of Manny Chat, um, mm -hmm. but you can have a whole conversation with someone. It's, it's AI, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's so crazy. have you thought about like implementing, like what type of AI features are you guys thinking about for the future? Yeah. Great, great question. So we we're definitely going to incorporate AI like into the future. And I don't know how, I don't know when, but it's just, it's very clear from looking at just kind of where the world is going, that AI is going to play a big part in it. But I think that something that I've definitely learned over the years is there's always going to be new technologies and flashy, like shiny new objects that you can go off and you can play with and you can like do. And so I have a couple of team members that are doing that. You know, I use chat GPT and I have a couple AIs that help me to do like to do different things. But one thing that I kind of talked to the team about was, Hey, like we're not adding in AI for the sake of adding in AI. AI is just like any other tool in our tool belt. And as a tool in our tool belt, it can be used to solve very specific problems. So when we find the right problem, we can bring in AI as like as a solution, but I don't wanna hear like where we're brainstorming from like the AI like first, right? It's focus on the customer problems and some of those problems AI will make better. But yeah, I mean, for, for example, you know, I don't think that we're that far away from having Having like AI powered scheduling where it's not like it wouldn't be automatic because I think that it's very, very important. The office manager, or the owners be making a lot of the scheduling decisions, but we can begin to make suggestions, right? That we should be able to, you know, in the relatively near future to go, okay, like this person has been, has been like canceled and you're looking to rebook them. There's no reason that our system in the future won't be able to go, you know, based on what we're seeing, here are the three logical spots for you for you to like to consider right and then and then for the owner to make the like the final call and so there's a couple of things like that but the other one i don't think we actually have a domain for it yet maybe i'll, I'll get i'll get this domain and put it put it live before um but before this this goes live but um we've put together almost like a made coach so i'm guessing it'll probably be made coach.ai or something like that where um it's essentially we've uploaded all of our blog articles and all of our youtube content into the this AI chatbot. And so you can go in and you can say, hey, I'm in, um, you know, like rural North Carolina, give me, um, give me 10 marketing ideas that'll get people's attention. And it'll give you 10 ideas, you know, and we'll take into account like all, like, you know, all the information that you've given it and everything that we have on the blog. So that would be one way. Of course, that's not part of ZenMade, but it was just an interesting use case using AI to help the industry more. So we're exploring different things like that. But like, like I said, we, we always want to start with the problem and with the cost customer experience first. And if AI is part of the solution, then great. But if we can solve it another way, then we're going to consider that as well. I love oh, it. I love you know it. what? He just gave me an idea. All right, I'm going to get my 100 people. Matter of <laughs> fact, I'm going to get my 200 people. You know, nice. we're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to talk. All right. <laughs> she wants to create another uh, app. She has an idea every year. She's like, yes. I got another idea. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm gonna get my two, not 100. I'm gonna get 200 people. 200. All right. Because I see my problem is before I was trying to create a solution for everything, but yes. simplicity is the key. If you can just mm -hmm. solve one problem, one. I think exactly. a lot of people that's where they get it misconstrued at. They're trying mm -hmm. to just so many things instead of just yeah. concentrating on that one thing. So just talking with you today. It gives me the clarity. What is the one thing that people are having issues with? And I got it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it because I don't <laughs> want to do my idea. But yeah. we're gonna be in we're gonna be in communication. Okay. Yeah, sounds so, good. I'll hold you to it. Two hundred. <laughs> there you go. So um Zenmate is such a powerful, powerful software. And I've noticed that it's a trend of softwares like doing this whole white label thing. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about white labeling Zenmate. So it's something that's come up. It's been suggested a couple of times. Um, I think that 
Yeah, we, we've 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 considered it. I think it's just it's kind of a tough one to do technically, and so we've never really been sure if it's essentially worth the effort. That we've had a couple of people that have expressed interest, but uh, I think it's a very different kind of software than something like Go High Level, which can be used in every industry. Um, so we we have we have considered it. Um, we've considered white labeling it for um, for influencers and consultants like yourself, so that you would potentially be able to go out and to and to um to sell um to sell Zenmate as like your own like branded thing. We have like an affiliate program and a referral program that like sort of half solves that right now. But then we've also had some customers that have contacted us and have wanted to know if like they can essentially make it look like it's their own, you know, like internal like software with their own branding and everything. And so that's what I was talking about before, where like some of the pricing might change and be feature gated. I could see if we redo our pricing and introducing like a pretty like high level, like high level plan, I could see us introducing something like that. But, uh, you know, it's another one. We've got to talk to the market and see how much that matters. That matters to them. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I don't care. Every time he talks, every time you talk, it's like, <laughs> Like, like, man, your juices are flowing. Yes, girl. like, oh my God, so many ideas. Lord, Lord, Lord. Well, the time has come for us to close it down, you guys. Because yes. it's been a whole hour we've been on here. I don't want to take any more of your time, but you have been one of my favorite guests. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm this not gonna lie been either. Interested. This yes. has been a really, really deep dive into Zenmate, you guys. So anybody that is looking for a software, preferably if you guys are in the residential maid service, mm -hmm. this is the software for you. Okay. It completely solves all of your problems when it comes to scheduling. Okay, you guys. All right. So um please let everybody know close it down and let everybody know what the website is and um, how they can find you. Yeah, definitely. Thanks again for uh, for having me. Yeah, if you guys are interested in, uh, in in learning more, it's just head over to zenmade.com. You can sign up for a free 14-day trial there. You can, uh, you know, watch a demo of the software that I think is about 30 or 40 minutes where you can see everything that the software does. But I encourage everyone to sign up for a trial and to test it for themselves. Uh, like any software, it's not for everyone. Um, but if it is for you, then you're going to absolutely, absolutely love it. And and our team would love to hear from you. I think that's probably the biggest thing is that if you've listened to this, if you're interested, um, what I'd encourage you to do is to go sign up for a trial and then don't hesitate to ask for help, right? That if you um, if you need anything, you know, we're, we're completely used to that. And we try our hardest to make the software as simple as possible and easy to use without any help. But we're very, very aware that no matter how, how perfect, you know, perfect the software is, there's always going to be questions. There's always going to be a little bit of confusion and so uh yeah just reach out and ask for ask for help and then um you know if, if you guys are interested um you know we've got two facebook groups one that's just for customers and one that's for um for all made service owners so that's the uh, the zen made mastermind and then uh, i don't know if i've talked to you guys about this yet but we're doing uh the annual summit i think in january or february so you'll both be getting an invite to speak on um on on, on that and everything so um yeah we're, we're about to start announcing that that hasn't hasn't officially been been announced yet but um people can visit madesummit.com if they're interested in uh, pre-registering for that and that's a hundred percent free so i encourage everyone listening to go and to uh, to, to check that out yeah wow. if y'all if y'all don't have no fire under y'all butt right now y'all is tripping go. 200 200 200 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Amar, for being a guest on the show. And we look to have you back on the show. Yes. Like when you get all of these AI features or anything new, yeah. we're going to bring you back on the show so we can talk about it. Okay. Awesome. Thanks again I'm for having me. Affiliate link or something down there below for my people. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Have a good one. Oh, you got to do it. Oh, okay. I'll do it. I got it. <laughs> I forgot. Take you first. I'm sorry. I was in another land. I'm just so happy right now. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah, let me know if you need anything else then before uh, before publishing or whatever, and just let me know when it goes live, and I'll share it around and everything. So, um, yeah. yeah, but this is really great. I do have.